Hi guys, hope you're doing very well. So, today is called how to avoid these three anxiety causing morning habits. But first, before we do that, let's start with some porn. Secondly, I know, <laughs> sorry, I know I always pester you to subscribe to the channel and push the bell icon, which you should do, but today I'm pestering you to join my mailing list. So if you click on my name below this video, you'll see in the top right hand corner a little yellow symbol, MailChimp mailing list. Subscribe to that and then we're connected for life. We don't have to rely on the changing winds of social media and um, or maybe been thrown off uh, any of the particular platforms. <laughs> so, tip one for this anxiety relief would be do not look at social media on your phone or computer for the first hour after waking up. You know, you don't need to flood yourself with um, fear of missing out and the world's news and the world's drama and, and people's news and people's drama and the um, the unrealistically happy life that they are presenting that they're living which in which throws your own life into stark relief and makes you think um makes you think bad things and makes you makes you feel bad it can be it can be very 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 toxic maybe don't force yourself to see, <laughs> to see all the um weakness and work as william blake would put it uh, as soon as you wake up you know in kuala lumpur in new york in the maldives in East London, wherever wherever it is, you don't need to force yourself to see it in the first hour of waking up or the first half an hour. What you should do, I would highly, highly recommend, and this has helped me massively, meditate for a bit in the morning, do a bit of yoga in the morning, you know, stretch, pray, um, <laughs> jog, whatever your thing is. And if you're thinking to yourself, there's no way I can possibly do that, Rob, you don't understand, I've got kids, I've got work, I've got a course going on, then get up 20 minutes earlier, okay? Or half an hour early, or an hour early. Right, tip two to avoid some <laughs> anxiety causing one of thoughts would be try and change your relationship and ultimately reduce the amount of negative cyclical thinking and thoughts and what if questions like especially if you're suffering with chronic anxiety or depersonalization or depression or derealization or dissociation you're thinking what if I'm going to die what if other, other people are going to die you know why do I want to die so much perhaps the most troubling one <laughs> when things get really dark you know um what if my friend dies what if i say something really stupid at work fatally stupid um because when you're lost in these thoughts you know you're no longer present you're no longer aligned with the with the present moment you're you're in in this you're on the narrow bank viewpoint of the stream of thinking and you're grabbing onto these pseudo hologram logs which are thoughts which take you into more turbulence without even realizing it so Maybe meta loving kindness meditation can be very good for this. You know, you can you can change the nature of your thoughts by just for ten minutes picking someone who is very easy to wish well wish towards, like a nephew or a niece. Or just <laughs> you work up to other people um, and just repeat the phrases. May you be well. May you be happy. May you have exciting school days. May you have exciting birthdays. May you have fulfilling birthdays. Well, you know things like that. It's a bit like prayer, but without the, without the, with, without the expectation it's going to work for them. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's about changing your psychology. And if you do that for 10 minutes, it, change, it makes a difference. And if you do it for an hour, it can be like, so I've been told, a small dose of uh, MDMA or ecstasy. But yes, get into good habits instead. New neural pathways will be formed towards the good habits. And as we all know, neural pathways encourage you in a certain direction. So the more you do something, the more neural pathways are built in that direction, the more your brain is encouraging itself, your nervous system encouraging itself to do those things. So ask some good questions instead. What, isn't it possible Rob, or Jane, or Janet, or George, or Jeffrey, or Jeremiah, whatever your name is, Jebediah, um, <laughs> Jehovah, Jesus. Um, I'll start with the J names. Ask, what if, isn't it possible, name, that you're asking this to yourself, that my closest family members will live another 20 years, another 40 years, another 60 years. Isn't it possible that I will live happier than I am now for another 50 years, 60 years, as long as I keep up, keep, you know, the scales. Here's what's causing bad mood. Here are your coping mechanisms, you know, and you've got to do this. <laughs> the coping mechanisms, way more than the stuff that's causing the bad mood. Okay, tip three for avoiding anxiety causing thoughts in the morning 
I know this is hard to hear and it's tough love and it's somewhat hypocritical, but cut down or cut out caffeine because caffeinated <clears throat> stimulants add to anxiety, add to de de realization, depersonalization. We all know this. It's so great because some, something warm and a bit sugary in, in, the, in the morning that gives you energy or you think it's giving you energy can be really great, but obviously the side effect is increased, <clears throat> increased symptoms of the very thing you're trying to ultimately get rid of or accept, okay? Healthier food in the morning. I would highly, highly recommend, because it's in the morning, you're, you don't wanna do a whole Jamie Oliver thing. In one pan, just one pan, butter beans, a can of butter beans, <laughs> some tomatoes, some mushrooms, and some chopped ginger. It's like 10 minutes. And then about halfway through that, you do, do two eggs maybe, if you're into eggs. <laughs> and that will keep you full for hours and hours and hours whilst being healthy and full of vitamins and full of protein and full of fat with no processed carbohydrates and very little sugar. Okay, so obviously, as I keep saying over and over again, and will do to my dying breath, the hot, cold shower transition. So many health benefits. You, you're, in, you're in the shower, it's hot. I understand most people's <laughs> natural instinct isn't to turn it to cold like that and go Aah! for 20 seconds or 30 seconds. But if you could do it, I would highly recommend it. Um, it makes you feel a lot better. It wakes you up. Um, it tweaks your nervous system. It tweaks your brain. It um, regenerates your cellular level. It regenerates your genetics to some extent. I don't know the full details on this, but there are videos out there, including my rather short, um, <laughs> unscientifically cited one. Um, so for the, t <laughs> for the two people still watching, let's recap. The three tips. So don't look on social media in the, for the first hour in the morning. Just don't. Um, but maybe it includes email as well. Tip two, um, your negative what if questions that are deeply, deeply entrenched. Try and change your relationship to them. And ultimately that, just doing that or paying attention to them will reduce their seriousness and reduce their frequency. And tip three was cut out or reduce caffeine. All right, guys, I hope you're doing very well. G give, me, give me some comments. Give me your morning routine. Tell me your favorite color. Uh, I hope it's yellow. Um, <laughs> please like and share this video. Again, please subscribe to the mailing list I mentioned earlier. Take it easy, guys. Have an anxiety-free day. Stick to your discipline playfully, lightly, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.